the memory maze. One way in, one way out. There's money in every vault. And somewhere deep inside, one of them holds 100,000 pounds. To open a vault, you must answer a question. Please tell me you've seen it. I haven't seen it. But every answer is added to your exit list. A list you must remember perfectly to escape with the money. Run for stilts again. Oh dear. I'm blank. The further you go in, the harder it is to get out. All that stands between you and a fortune is the exit list. Hello and welcome to the exit list. Down there is the memory maze. The vaults contain money and one of them holds a hundred thousand pounds. But the further tonight's contestants go in to find it, the more they'll have to remember to get back out. Let's meet them. From Liverpool, it's Jenny and David. Uh, what do you guys do, David? Yeah, I'm a deputy head teacher right. in the school in Warrington. Great stuff. How about you, Jim? I'm a clinical project leader, so I work for a pharmaceutical company. You're, you're with that. <laughs> <laughs> clinical project a clinical leader. Clinical project leader. Your childhood sweethearts, is that right? We are. Yeah, we've been together for 14 years. Yep. So, can you remember the day that you met? First, first day at uh, secondary school. I walked in. She checked me out. I was loving it, <laughs> like what she saw. It's about nine months later. Yeah, nine months later, we, we went out something yeah. together ever since. Ever since. Oh, that's beautiful. So, and you. who's got the best memory? Because that'll be crucial. We're both similar, but mm, I think similar. I think I'd like David to to yeah. do the, the whole exit list if possible. But Maybe. look at the draw. So and have you have you talked about this? Is there a strategy for getting through this? We have. We've got, got a little idea. one. Yeah, we're going to try and visualise things and link them into numbers. Very good. Okay. Well, if you're ready for it, we're yeah. ready for you. Yeah. The maze is waiting. David, Jenny, make your way down to the memory maze. <laughs> Before you go in, just one more thing. Hidden in the maze are five panic rooms. Take it from me, those panic rooms are no fun at all. Jenny and David, pick up your case and enter the memory maze. £1,000. Yes, the first vault is worth £1,000 and you have 30 seconds to answer. Here is your question. The long-running kids' show, Rainbow, featured which <laughs> of the following characters? Mildred. Gordon. Kermit. Zip. Yeah, so I know this one's you. I think I know it. I, did, I thought when it was going down the list then I didn't think it was going to go. Lock in Zippy, please. You're going with Zippy. And that means you want Zippy, and only Zippy, to go on to your exit list. But if it's wrong, all four options go onto your exit list, and your route directly ahead is blocked. The right answer is... <laughs> yeah! It's Zippy! <laughs> and this is your exit list. Zippy. The vault is now open. Take the cash, put it in your case. Ooh, you now have one thousand. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, Jenny and David, uh, you can turn back at any time. However, only one of you will be allowed to recall the exit list. You'll only find out who when you decide to turn back. The route ahead has opened up, and the money goes up the deeper into the maze you go. On the next row, every vault contains two thousand pounds, but somewhere in there are also those five hidden panic rooms. Please move in to the next room. 2,000 pounds. Yes, for 2,000 pounds. In 2011, which female <coughs> singer became the first ever person to reach 15 million followers on Twitter? Rihanna. Madonna. Lady Gaga. Katy Perry. 
Yeah, and I'm thinking it's got to be Lady Gaga. She's in the news for having like the most news followers. Or she's got she's the like most. I don't know if it's Facebook or Twitter. Fifteen million is a lot, isn't I mean, it? I think I don't think it's Madonna or Katy Perry. I can't see it being it. Rihanna or Lady Gaga. Fifteen Gargoyle, seconds. Possibly. Lady Gaga, do you think? I think. Yeah, let's go for Lady Gaga. Go Ten on. seconds okay. left. Lock in Lady Gaga. It's locked in with eight seconds left on the clock. <laughs> you want to see Lady Gaga and only Lady Gaga on your exit list. The right answer is... Yes! <laughs> it was the right answer. <laughs> and this is your exit list. Zippy, Lady Gaga. Take the cash out of the vault, you now have £3,000. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. It's all in there. Wow. Wow. Getting bigger. <laughs> Problem in the case. The route ahead is now open, and all the vaults on that next row are worth £3,000. The room straight ahead is flowers. Or, if you want, you can stay in this row for £2,000. That's what the questions are worth. The room to the left is mythology, and to the right, it's voices. Now, do you want to enter one of those rooms, or do you want to exit them? I think we will play on, won't we? Yeah. But which, which, way, we, which way would you go? I'm not really fancy mythology or voices, what are you? Flowers, though. Flowers isn't great, but I think it's the best choice. Those are the other two, what do you think? Yeah, OK. Yeah, go, go for flowers. Yeah, we'll, we'll go forward with flowers, please. Going forward with flowers, what a beautiful idea. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so is this a question for £3,000? Is this one of the five panic rooms that are out there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out, David and Jenny. Move into the next room. Panic room. You must remember everything you're about to see. Anything you forget will be turned into a panic code and added to your exit list. Flowers. You will be shown a flower and you need to remember its name. Monkey flower. Mexican hat. Hot pink banana. Goat's beard, flaming sword, elephant's ears, stinking iris, morning glory, snapdragon, skunk cabbage. Your 30 seconds starts now. Oh, that was my one. Pass. Pass. Monkey flower, hot banana. Uh, pass. Um. Oh, that was that last one. Hop, oh, hopping remember. on it. Hopping on it. Pink. Oh, pass. I can't pass. Any of them. Yeah. Oh, that's mine. Pass. I can't pass. remember any of them. No. Pass. Ah. Oh, that was so hard. This didn't go in. Oh no. Ooh. So uh, the ones you didn't get were elephant's ears becomes E, flaming sword becomes F. Hot pink banana becomes H. Stinking iris becomes S. Morning glory becomes M. Goat's beard becomes G. Mexican hat becomes M. Snapdragon becomes S. Monkey flower becomes M. Skunk cabbage becomes S. And your panic code is E F H S M G M S M S. And this is your exit list. Zippy, Lady Gaga, E F H S M G M S M S. Oh, it's come on. It was E F. It's like the alpha E F, but not E H. E F H. There was a lot of S M. It's E F S H M G. No, it's not E F S H, is it? E F S H. We'll try again next time, maybe. I'm gonna have to try and see it again and try and get that. Oh, that's really bad. No, that's not good. That was every single item in the panic room right there. That's uh, good. It's a, a big blow. Okay. After the break. Oh, you confused me then. Will that code be the thing that stops them getting to the £100,000 room? Before the break, Jenny and David got through the first two rooms safely. Panic room. But it all went wrong in a panic room. So, your route ahead is blocked. 
Now, mm. to the left, you'll find nursery rhymes, and to the right, moles. Do you want to enter one of those rooms or exit the maze? Definitely want to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go in. Nursery rhymes. We'll go for nursery yeah, rhymes, yeah. rhymes, please. Okay, nursery rhymes. The, every room you take, of course, you get another chance to look at that exit list. Yeah. However, if you get this question wrong, you will be blocked in, and you don't want to do that. So, is this a question for three thousand pounds, or is this another panic room? David, Jenny, move into the next room. £3,000. It's a question for £3,000. In the nursery rhyme, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Which animal did she eat last? A pig, a goat, a dog, or a horse? I think it was a fly and then a spider to catch the fly. Yeah. And then yeah. it, it goes, I think it was a, uh, maybe a mouse after that, I can't remember. But okay, so I think they're getting pretty big. 15 um, seconds left. Must be a horse, I think. Okay, yeah, horse. Yeah, lock in horse, please. 10 seconds. You want horse, and only horse, to appear on your exit list. The correct answer is. It is horse. And this is your exit list. Zippy, Lady Gaga, E F H S M G M S M S. Horse. Oh, you confuse me then. Okay, don't confuse her. Wait, sorry, what was don't this? confuse her. E F S H. I hate to interrupt. The vault's open. Take it out. Put it in your case. You've got six thousand pounds in the case. That's great. Good stuff. We're back on track. Let's keep moving because your route ahead is now open, and all the vaults on that row are worth four thousand pounds. Now the room straight ahead of you is sitcoms, situation comedies. Do you want to enter that room, or do you want to leave the memory maze with want... the money you've got? Definitely play on, please. Okay. 6,000 pounds in the case. Sitcoms, but is it a question for 4,000 pounds or is it one of the four remaining panic rooms? Let's find out. David, Jenny, make your move. Please, please, please. 4,000 pounds. It's a question. 4,000 pounds. Which sitcom was not written by Richard Curtis. Mr. B. The Vicar of Dibley. The Young Ones. Black Adder. Right, I haven't got I a clue on this one. Black Adder so. definitely was. Okay. Know that, yeah, what about the that others? One. Come on. Yeah, Mr. Beam is also Rowan Atkinson, so I'm thinking he probably 20 did. seconds. Okay. Vicar of Dibley or The Young Ones, I'm not too sure. Young Ones really sure. old, so would yeah, it not I'm pretty be... sure it was. He did say Vicar of Dibley, so... I just think the young ones, I think it's the one that's jumping out to me. Yeah. Seconds. Lock in the one. young ones, please. It's locked in, seven seconds on the clock. For £4,000, you want the young ones and only the young ones to appear on your exit list. Give us the correct answer. Yeah, <laughs> it was the right answer. This is your exit list. Zippy, Lady Gaga, E F H S M G M S M S, Horse, The Young Ones. Okay, back in the room. Are you with me? Okay, I'm going to give you some positive news, some good news. Look at it this way, right? Every time you've had a question, you've got it right. And I'll give you some other good news. You've got £4,000 sitting in a vault there that you've just ignored. Okay. Take it out of the vault, stick it in your case.
<laughs> it is real. It's real. <laughs> it's funny. Everybody <laughs> likes to smell the cash. I don't know quite what you're expecting. Strawberries? No. Strawberries. Right, OK. Okay. Once again, I have the pleasure of telling you that the route ahead is open. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want to go ahead, you'll find that all the vaults on that row are worth £5,000. And crucially, you are getting ever closer to that back row where you will find one vault that's worth £100,000. <laughs> Just two rooms away. However, you may want to go to the left or the right. The room directly ahead is dogs. However, if you want to stay on that row where you are, where the questions are worth £4,000, you can. To the left, you'll find politics. To the right, you'll find travel. Do you want to enter one of those rooms, or would you like to exit the maze? I mean, politics could be like, you know, who's like current cabinet ministers and stuff, and we didn't could look that up, but dogs, dogs could be anything could be a as well. Could be the dogs, couldn't it? Again, a bit of panic room. Oh, yeah. Travel to the right, what do you think? I don't know, should we gamble politics? Because we left. Would, oh, mind you, then we could be locked in now if we get it wrong. You're two away from the back row, though, two where all the proper money is. Should we just go for dogs? Let's go. Like my mum's dog. Just think of dogs. I, I promise dogs. you, Jenny, there won't be a question on your mum's dog. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. Okay. Yeah, should we do it with Ready? dogs? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, go forward. we'll go forward with dogs, please. Going forward with dogs. Okay. Is this a <laughs> question for five thousand pounds to take you close to that back row? It's one vault away. Where there's a hundred thousand pounds waiting somewhere. Or is this a panic room? Let's find out. Move into the next room. £5,000. Here is your question for £5,000. According to the Kennel Club, what is the UK's most popular registered dog breed? Is it Labrador? Cocker Spaniel? German Shepherd? Golden Retriever? I, don't the know. Same thing. I think the golden retrievers are actually the ones on like the, the longer hair with the longer hair. Labrador short hair. Twenty seconds. Longer it is. So it's either German Shepherd or Alsatian. Um, no, I don't think it's that one. Or I'm thinking Labrador. Spaniel. As soon as it came up, I thought Labrador or that type of dog with golden retrievers. Stay quick, which one? Ten seconds left. Labrador or La I thought Labrador. Okay, lock in Labrador. Please. Okay, <sighs> it's locked in. Six seconds left. You want to see Labrador and only Labrador on your exit list to get just one room away from that back row? Oh, please. The correct answer is... Go green, go green, go green. Please, please, please. Oh, oh yes! Yeah! It was the right answer! Get in there! And Whoa! this is your exit list! Zippy, Lady Gaga, E, F, H, S, M, G, M, S, M, S, Horse, The Young Ones, Labrador. Good stuff, guys. It's the bricks. It's the bricks. What bricks. was... <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to visualise, like, little sort of... Pe We've got little pegs in our head, and we're just so, trying to visualise the answers to those so pegs. Maybe, so uh, we're throw having to... Throwing something just, to the dog. Yeah, so throw a brick to the dog. Throw a brick at the dog. OK. So it's, like, not nice. <laughs> Better image. Better image. Yeah, we'll just make it. little remember. Uh, these head pegs are very interesting. <laughs> but you need to put a head peg in that tells you to take the cash out of the pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you keep forgetting to take the money. <laughs> yeah. £5,000. All wrapped up nice for you. £15,000 in your case now. Just think of what we could do with that. You this. are one room away from the back row where £100,000 is sitting somewhere. And the route ahead is open. Oh, wow. oh yes, the room straight ahead of you is titles. titles Takes you onto the back row. That could be a vault in there that contains a hundred thousand pounds. But if you head onto the back row right now, you end up somewhere in the middle there. Okay. So if you want to stay on the row where you are now, to the left you've got money. That's the subject. To the right, you've got partners. I'm feeling that way. 
give you a chance to maybe move round and then get a clean sweep of that back row. First things first, do you want to enter one of those rooms or do you want to turn back now and exit the maze? You want to carry on. I want to carry on, on do you? Yeah. Good. Okay. okay. It's now it's a matter which, of which room you want to go in. Which way? I think I'm thinking, the is too I'm thinking far. there and then we'll just maybe miss that one depending on because I don't want to get locked in. No, I don't want to. So, so I might go here and then if we do well, go forwards. Let's just go forwards. Should we go to yeah. the left? Okay. okay. We're going to go to the left. You're going left. Is this a room with a question? Yes. For £5,000. Is this one of the four remaining panic rooms? David, relax. <laughs> <laughs> and make your move. Room. After the break, David and Jenny are one room away from the big money, but will they be able to survive another panic room? Pass. Before the break, Jenny and David were deep in the maze with £15,000, but have just hit their second panic room. Panic room, you must remember everything you're about to see. Money. You will be shown a currency and you will need to remember the country it's from. Real, Brazil. Shekel, Israel. Forint, Hungary. Piso, Philippines. Lev, Bulgaria. Delassi, Gambia. Naira, Nigeria. Burr, Ethiopia. Zloty, Poland. Quetzal, Guatemala. Your 30 seconds starts now. Brazil, Israel, Kun uh, Hungary. Pass. Brazil, Israel, Hungary. Uh, any others? Do you yeah, know? I've got one. Brazil, Israel, Hungary, Nigeria. Uh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Um, Brazil, Israel, Hungary. Um, what are the others? What are the others? Pass. Brazil, oh, Israel, Hungary. Gam Gam no, it's not. Oh, pass. Gambia. That's uh, Gambia. Guatemala. Guatemala. Brazil, Israel, Hungary. Uh, Poland. Poland. Oh. Oh. So, the ones you didn't get were... Quetzal, Guatemala becomes a G. Piso is the Philippines, becomes a P. Lev is Bulgaria, becomes a B. And Real is Brazil, becomes a B. Oh, six. Wow. Your code is G, P, B, B. And this is your exit list. Zippy, Lady Gaga. E F H S M G N S M S Horse The Young Ones Labrador G P B B Okay, I like that one. <laughs> okay. Now guys, that is how you do a panic room. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay. oh. What do you think of that for a code? Something that's, you can that's handle? That's not too bad, that's, yeah, we're thinking... Okay. Uh, you, you go, go with the GP, GP the doctors, breath. when you've got bad breath. <laughs> 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 OK. Suffering from it now. Here's <laughs> where we are. Your route ahead is blocked. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't get everything. Uh, but you can still go to the left on the yeah. row you're on. OK. You'll find Olympics there. Uh, do you want to enter that room? Or do you want to leave the maze? £15,000. You can't go back through a room you've already been through. Olympics, it's not, it can't be another panic room. OK, get that it one right, be, and you're yeah. on the back row. I don't get it right, though. Get it wrong, and you're blocked in. What do you want to do? I think go on. I want to play. Let's go for it. I do want to go on. on. I do want to go on. I'm just scared now. Those panic rooms just wipe me out. <laughs> I reckon we're going to go next door. We're going to see money. We're going to see a question. We're going to go for it. Go for it. Okay. Come on. Okay, Let's we'll go, go we'll go on with Olympics, please. Okay. Is this a question for five thousand pounds? Is it a panic room? David, Jenny, move into the next room. Come on, Jenny. Five thousand Come on! <laughs> Here is your question for five thousand pounds. Which field event is part of the men's decathlon and the women's heptathlon? Ten, seven. Pole vault, discus throw, triple jump, shot put. Okay. 
much shampoo because it's um, it's more of a I don't know, but it's more of a men's puff, so I'm not. I'm not thinking pole vault. No, I'm not too sure. I was thinking discus when it came up, but I thought it could be tri triple jump up. I see them doing fifteen the pole seconds. Vault. I know it's definitely you pick quick though. Decide. It could be in the uh, ten seconds. Like pole vault or triple jump, pick one. Pole vault. Do you go for that? Fifty to you. Five seconds left. Lock in pole vault. You want to see pole vault and only pole vault on your exit list. Let's see the answer. Oh. Oh. It's the wrong answer. That one. So all four answers are added. And this is your exit list. Zippy, Lady Gaga, E, F, H, S, M, G, M, S, M, S. Horse, the young ones, Labrador, GP, BB, pole vault, discus throw, triple jump, shot put. This is where we are now. It was the wrong answer. The cash stays in the vault and your route ahead is blocked. You now, you now have a decision to make. Uh, you can continue, but it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you everything. To open up the route ahead and to get to the big money, you need to leave behind all the cash you have in your case. Your money goes down to zero, but your exit list will stay the same. Or you can turn back and try and get out with the money you have now. So what's it going to be? What are you thinking? If we give it up and we get the net on right, we've got 10,000 straight away. You can go along the back row all the way. You've got £15,000 in your case right now. I think we should go. What do you want to do? I don't know. I've got £15,000. It's a lot yeah. of money. What okay. would you do with it, Jenny? Um, I don't know. It would just be nice to see it in the back. <laughs> but no, I think we could take little baby Jack on holidays yeah. and do lots of things we'd love to do. Disneyland and everything. And okay. I don't know. But then it's like life-changing <laughs> money on the back. <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know what to do. So it's the difference between a little bit of fun, a couple of luxuries, and a life-changing sum of money. Okay. I'm going to ask you for a decision now. I don't know what to do. What do you want to do? I can tell you want to go on. Do you? A little bit. We are only year once, aren't we? Do you want to go for it or what? So we lose all that money and then we start scratch. We've still got to remember all of them. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Okay. Do you want to go for it? We're going to probably lose everything, but... Do you want to go for it? I'll go with you. You can make the final decision. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> Should we go for it? Go on, then. Right, we're going to go for it. What do you think of that, guys? I love it. I love it. You're going to go on. That means you have to leave your case and step into the next room where an empty case is waiting. But what else is waiting? You are about to enter the back row where there's either £10,000, a panic room, or £100,000. Pounds. The route ahead has opened up. Move into the next room. 10, 000 pounds. <laughs> okay, it's a question. <clears throat> For ten thousand pounds, which of these people has not won the Nobel Peace Prize? Martin Luther King. He has. Mother Teresa. Mahatma Gandhi, the Dalai Lama. To me, Dalai Lama, but I have no idea why. Just because Martin Luther King, I think. He definitely did, I know that one. Mother Teresa. I'm not sure whether Gandhi did, you know, the Dalai Lama. Oh, here we go again. Out. Quick, think. Um, 15 seconds. We don't want to get Mother all of these Teresa. on the list. Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi. Quick, which one? Which one do you think? 10 seconds. Dalai Lama, Mahatma Gandhi. You thought that one should be locked in? Up. Up. Yeah. Go for it. Lock in Five Dalai seconds. Lama, please. Dalai Lama. Locked in with three seconds left. You want the Dalai Lama and only the Dalai Lama to appear on your exit list. The correct answer is. It, it, it was Mahatma Gandhi. Oh. You got the wrong answer. So all four options are added. Yeah, this and amazing. this is your exit list. Zippy, Lady Gaga, E-F-H-S-M-G-M-S-M-S. -M -S -M -S. 
horse, the young ones, Labrador, GPBB, pole vault, discus throw, triple jump, shot put, Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, Dalai Lama. Can we have a look at your case? <laughs> oh, no. It's empty. Yeah, it's, it's got nothing in it. You have an exit list as long as your arm. <laughs> But I'm going to concentrate on the positive, the positive because, because I want you to win big and you're in the right place to do it. Yeah? Yeah. You are smart people from Merseyside. <laughs> yeah. And somewhere on that back row where you are right now is £100,000. You actually have nothing to lose. <laughs> yeah. And the next room is open. And you'll find oh, birds in there. Do you want to enter that room or do you want to come up with nothing. Exit the maze with nothing at all. I think we'll play on. on. You're gonna carry on? Yeah. Okay, so is this a room with a question worth 10,000 pounds? Is it a panic room? Please God, no. Please no. <laughs> or is this the one room which contains 100,000 pounds? Shall we find out? Yes, please. Move into the next room. £100,000. Oh my God. OK. <laughs> I'm actually really shaking now. OK, OK. <sighs> Deep breath. We can do it. Come on, we've just got to get it right. £100,000. Here oh is God. your question. Oh, man. Oh, get it right. Come on. In cookery, squab is meat from the young of which oh, bird? Eliminate what? Duck. That's a young bird. Partridge. Turkey. Oh, no. Or pigeon. I was kind of waiting for pigeon to Really? I kind of think. I don't know. I was I, as soon as it came up, I thought a pigeon. Quick, I don't quick. know where it came from. Twenty seconds. Um, I don't know what well, any none of them are. Yeah. I don't know where the squab is, pigeon. But fifteen seconds. I can't think of anything else what it could be. What do you think? I haven't got a clue. I'm vegetarian. Ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we lock in pigeon then? Quick, lock yeah. in pigeon. Seconds. Pigeon, lock in pigeon. Oh, come on, oh. if this is right. If this is right. Be right. Be right. Oh. Okay. For one hundred thousand pounds, to take you to a total of one hundred thousand oh pounds, you want squab to be the meat from the young of the pigeon, oh and you want no. pigeon and only pigeon to appear on your exit list. Oh my God! Please. The correct answer is. Zippy, Lady Gaga, E F H S M G M S M S, Horse, The Young Ones, Labrador, G P B B, Pole Vault, Discus Throw, Triple Jump, Shot Put, Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, Dalai Lama, Pigeon. Well, there's lots of pigeons swarming around the hand. I'm so sorry in to interrupt. But I have remembered it's so There's hundred thousand pounds in the vault. Did <laughs> 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 you, you take it out? You <laughs> take it out. Oh, I'm just take <laughs> all of it out. Put it in your case. Oh, That's a hundred thousand oh pounds. Right. Come on. Thank you. Oh my God. He's fine. Yeah, he's got to get out. Yeah, definitely. I don't know where that pigeon came from, but it was. Oh, well done. That was, in, that was impressive, that was Very good. I can't, I don't know where it came from, but who cares? OK. <laughs> right, let's focus now. To your right on the back <laughs> row, which is open to you. No way. No way. You'll find no titles. Way. 
Are you, you going to enter that room, or are you going to exit the maze? We're not going. No, I think we're going to exit now. I think that's a panic room. I can feel it. No, we're going to we're going to exit, please. Yes. David, Jenny, it's time to exit the maze. Only one of you can recite the exit list, but who's it going to be in front of you? You'll find two glass cylinders. Should go what in front of us? Whoever picks the shortest cylinder will be taking on the exit list. So, who is it going to be? Jenny and David, make your choice. You can pick whichever one you want. Away you go. Well, that's kind of matching your shirt. That's kind of matching my dress. <laughs> I'm the right front, so shall sure we? Jenny, you will be reciting the exit list. David, you're going to be joining me up here. After the break, they've got £100,000 in their case. But will Jenny be able to remember the exit list? Before the break, Jenny and David correctly answered the £100,000 question. But will Jenny be able to remember the exit list? OK, David, please leave the maze. Follow the lights. Thank you. Jenny and David went into ten rooms. They got six questions right and two questions wrong. They also went into two panic rooms and one of them produced a 10-digit panic code. Good stuff. <laughs> David, I salute you <laughs> for your guts, your courage, and your knowledge of small birds, <laughs> which is impressive, all of that. Yeah. But we're not quite finished yet. No. That decision wasn't the last one you'll make today. Jenny! Hello. Uh, you might find some headphones on the vault in front of you. Can you put them on? OK. Hello, Jenny. Can you hear me? <laughs> OK. David, to get out with £100,000, Jenny must remember everything on the exit list yeah. in any order and yeah. retrace the exact route that you took into the maze. Yeah. What do you reckon? I think she can remember the list. I mean, I had the lights coming out then and I still took the wrong turn. <laughs> but um, but I, think, um, I think she'll be able to remember it. Well, the memory maze has seen the length of your exit list. It knows how much money there is in that case, £100,000. And it's about to make you an offer. Yeah. Let's see how much. Twenty-two thousand pounds. Twenty-two thousand pounds. What would that money mean to you? It's a huge amount of money. We've never had that money before in our lives. It's an unbelievable amount. Okay. It'd mean everything. Well, here's how it works. If you accept that offer, you'll take that money home tonight, guaranteed. But it does mean that if Jenny does make it out of the maze with £100,000, then you'll still take home that amount yeah. and not a penny <laughs> more. OK. OK? Yeah. I'm going to ask you to make a decision. I don't want to know what it is. Yeah. Because I can't watch. OK. I'm going to turn around and make your decision. OK. Happy with that? Happy. Okay. Let's talk to Jenny. Put me in Jenny's ears. Hello, Jenny. Hello. <laughs> you can take the headphones off now. Thank you. Ah, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. You need to remember everything on the exit list and retrace your route oh, yeah, out right. of the memory maze to escape with the money. You can recall the list in any order. 
you have 10 seconds for every room you entered. 10 rooms means 100 seconds. And if you go into the wrong room, you'll hear this noise. But the clock will keep on ticking down. Let's remove the route. Jenny, to get out of the memory maze with £100,000, give us your exit list. Zippy. <laughs> Lady Gaga. <sighs> E-F-H-S, M-G-M, S-M-S. Horse. Um, the young ones. Um, Sixty seconds. Labrador. Oh. Fifty seconds. Having GPBB. Three rooms left, Jenny. Oh, okay. So, eight. So, you've got pole vault, triple jump. Pole vault, triple jump. The discus throw and the shot put. 30 seconds. Okay. Um, 20 seconds. Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa. Mahatma Gandhi and the Dalai Lama. It's the last room. Hot Pigeon! He's got it! <laughs> that was... Incredible. That's a hundred thousand pounds. You did it with seconds to spare. We did it. You did it. All that money? Yeah. Now there's a little thing that kind of happened while you had the headphones on. The maze made David an offer, a guaranteed offer of twenty-two thousand pounds. Don't look at him. Well, I hope he didn't take it. £22,000, whether you made it through or not. No one knows whether David accepted that offer or not. OK. Do you think he took it? No. I think he might have, I think he might have rejected that. I think he would have let me do it. Oh, my God, if he did, that's amazing. OK. It's £50, like £50 note and everything. <laughs> Oh my God! But we don't know yet whether you're going home tonight with a hundred thousand pounds <laughs> or twenty-two thousand pounds. Only David knows that. It's time to find out. It's okay. Are you ready? You leave tonight with one hundred thousand pounds. £100,000. In that case, come and join me over here. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! It's all happening! There was a point just then where you had nothing. No. That oh was God. incredible. You had the guts. You've got the glory. Now you've got £100,000 to go with it. <laughs> OK, one more question for you. What are you going to do with the money? Oh, my God, that's so life-changing. We've, we've got a little bit. We've got a baby boy, Jack. He's 10 months old. Yeah. 
So this is his future. Yeah. This oh, is it. University, maybe. Oh. I think I can speak for everybody else here, where we couldn't be more pleased for you. Jenny and David, thank you so much. Oh, thank it's you. It's been much. fantastic. Too, Give them you. a big round of applause. Oh. Join us next time when two more contenders will enter the memory maze in search of a fortune. Will it be a challenge they'll always remember or one they'd rather forget? That all depends on the exit list. Good night. chance training was much tougher than I expected it to be and it's tough because they all deserve to stay here but someone's got to go. Harsh but true. The teams face their second challenge next in The Biggest Loser.